Welcome back to the mountaintop, everybody. I'm Cody. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have got an awesome one planned for you. We broke this guy back out. If you haven't seen this before, this is something I just built through together. Um, this is to test how hard a bullet impacts this AR500 plate right here. We have the same couple guys that we were using in the last couple videos. This is the Glock 23 Gen 3 chambered in 40. And we have the Ruger PC40 carbine. If you have a Ruger P-Series handgun, it'll take the mag out of that. The reason why we have these guys out here today is because I want to see if barrel length affects how hard these guys hit. We're going to be using the same calibers. Um, we're going to be using 40s. Um, we will use the 10 millimeter for kind of something to judge by. All right, guys, we're going to start with the Glock 20 Gen 4 10 millimeter on the steel. Um, we've got the 180 grain Magtech full metal jackets. And this is just to give you guys an idea of how that steel works on something other than a 40. Yeah. All right, so there was three, and you guys can see it on the slow-mo. I didn't really get to see it, but man, that 10 millimeter just smacks the crap out of that steel. Glock 23 Gen 3, we're at the same distance. Let's see what we can do. Definitely didn't hit as hard as the 10. all right well there you have it that definitely did not hit as hard as the 10 millimeter did but i'll be interested to see how it did on the slow-mo so um i mean this thing's i mean this guy's just fun to shoot it's a, it's a really nice little piece um so i mean you guys saw it on the slow-mo and i mean you can see on the steel we hit about the same places that the 10 millimeter did so it should give us a pretty good idea of how it performed. Ruger PC40 carbine, like I said, this thing takes um, Ruger P mag. So if you have a Ruger P series pistol, it'll this thing takes those mags. It's so cool. Um, so we're right at the same distance. Um, let's try to put these in the same spot and see if barrel length really makes a big difference. I think it did. All right. That's it. And then, like I said, this thing has a cool little release on it. You push down that button and it releases your slide. So, I mean, I didn't really get to see it. I was looking through the scope, but from my point of view, it looked like that barrel length changed a lot. So it popped into my head. I know somebody was gonna ask the question like, why didn't you try it out of the Glock 20 Gen 4? Um, so 
I did it. We got five rounds of the 40 in the Glock 20 Gen 4 10 millimeter. Um, and we're back here at the same distance. We're going to put three in the steel. And we're going to see if the Glock 20 outperforms the Glock 23 with its own ammunition. So all of the 40 we have shot today has been the Fiocchi 170 grain. So I just wanted to clear that up. It's all been the Fiocchi. Every, every bullet of 40 shot has been the same thing. Anything we shot a 10, which was only that one time at the beginning, the 10 we used was the Magtech 180 grain. So Fiocchi 170 had a Glock Gen 4 10 millimeter right here. Ooh, it, I, I really do think that it outperformed the 40 with its own. Oh, missed that last one, but man, I, I, I can't watch the slow-mo. You guys will see it, but I really do think that the 10 millimeter shot or fired the 40 better than the 40 did. That's, that's just crazy. Um, so, I mean, I think, I think it might have to, I, might, I think this guy might have a little bit longer barrel than that Glock 23, but still, I, I think that it blew that 23 out of the water. That is just so cool. Um, all right, so I mean, that's all we really have for you today. I, I mean, that was just so cool. Um, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you had as much fun watching it as I did making it. That was so cool. Um, if you have any other like suggestions, if you want me to try out anything else, like it, put anything head to head on this um, target here, let me know. I, it, it's been so much fun to be able to plink on this and see how different calibers perform. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you haven't already and you did like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, push the notification button so you know when we post again, and we'll see you next time.